What's up guys? So welcome to the first sneak peek episode. So this is going to be something I'm going to do. Um, it's probably going to be every couple of months because obviously I'm talking about the updates that are going to be coming out soon. So I'll do these every once in a while. And uh, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up soon. Uh, and also I am on the test server if you're wondering why there's no people here. So it is a test server. Uh, so to get started, the next, uh, today when I'm uploading this and when I'm making this is the 31st of August. Uh, the next update is going to be soon. There's no real set time on any of these updates. I kind of just like, I, I, I sort of have a date in my, in my head and I sort of, you know, strive for that. Um, so Monday, the, what would that be? The fourth, yeah, the fourth is when the next update should be out. Obviously this can change and this will be the final raid boss, uh, the one that drops the twisted bow. I don't have any of that coded now, so I can't show you any of that, unfortunately, but, uh, the idea I have at the moment, uh, obviously this will change as I'm coding it, uh, well, that it'll be a big boss similar to the way next was on souls. But if anybody remembers that. Um, essentially it's going to have a lot of health. Ruby bolts will probably be the, the way to go and you're going to need quite a few people to take it down because, uh, it's going <laughs> to, you know, it's going to have the, the high health, the high defense, the high attack. So uh, if it drops the twisted bow, it should definitely be the hardest of the, of the four. So should be pretty interesting. And that'll be coming out soon. If not the fourth sometime around it. After that, the next big update will be the Inferno. So here are the Inferno capes. Um, I know at the moment they're not 100% accurate to, to where, you know, it's like the old school or anything. We're still working on that. We're still working to get them 100%, but at the moment they're at a point where I actually, ha you know, where, where they can be released. So if uh, we can't fix them, they will look like this. In my opinion, it doesn't look too bad. It, it kind of goes a little too quickly, but other than that, uh, it's, you know, it, it looks pretty good. Especially in this gear, this little setup right I've got going on. This is uh, best in slot melee. Well, minus the sword and minus the, the P ring. I think uh, Trezonus ring would be the best if you were going for best in slot melee. Um, and uh, I want to give a big thanks to Lazo. Lazo, you guys, you guys know Lazo. He uh, he did these. He helped out a lot with them. So big thanks to him. Uh, in terms of how the actual caves are going to go, I don't really want to give too much information because, uh, for one, I haven't started coding yet, so I don't know what all uh, will be available. My current idea is going to be 69 jabs in a row. So these uh, jabs are not going to be the same ones you fight in the normal fight caves right now. They will be buffed. So if you miss any prayer flicks, you're probably dead. Obviously, you could just luck out and get hit zero every single time you miss, but should be interesting. And it should take a while, too. It should be like an hour thing. I think the Inferno is something that should uh, should definitely be a huge accomplishment if you can complete it. It definitely seems that way on the live game. Um, in fact, I don't think anyone beat it in the first two or three days. So it should definitely be pretty tough. And um, again... Updates, the, the idea for it could change at any point. Uh, the, for the map, Dark has been working on getting the newer maps right now. This is kind of what they look like. Don't worry about the deposit boost. I believe he's fixed that or he's still working on it. But, um, yeah, so that should be... Uh, I like the little Jamie sucks in there. I just noticed that. Um, so, yeah, that, that should be pretty interesting. I don't think it'll be too hard to do server-side. We'll have to see. If for any reason it gets delayed, obviously, you'll know. All right, so what you came for, what's in the title, the Invention Sneak Peek. So this is something that everyone has been wondering about since the server was released. Since the server was released, since day one, I've been talking about Invention. I've told people that this is going to be the massive project. This is going to be the main thing that the server has to offer. Uh, doing a, a custom skill is something that most servers don't even ever attempt. And the ones that have, have I don't really ever remember uh, playing a single server. I've played servers since 2008. And I don't know that I've ever played one that had a working um, skill, a working skill that was custom. Uh, obviously, Invention is in RuneScape 3, but since this is an old school server, I'm considering it custom. And I'm sort of doing it a little different. I'm just kind of basing all the ideas off of RS3's Invention. Uh, so the reason Invention wasn't released uh, anytime soon was because there was one thing I needed from Dark, and he's finally done it. So it is, uh, it is now... Uh, and that is the skill tab. So right here, this is the current uh, skill tab for the live for the, for the live game and whatnot. And as you can see, there's a certain skill missing construction. Uh, and that's kind of odd because Hunter actually was released after construction. So the reason Hunter's here um, is probably just because Hunter's the easier skill to train. Uh, but what I needed was the current 
uh, the current uh, skill tab from RuneScape. So this is what it is, and then what we did with construction is we changed it to invention. So as you can see right here, I don't have it right now uh, in my version, so that's why it still looks like that, but this is a screenshot that Dark sent me when it was all finished and everything. So it uh, looks pretty cool. We, I do like the fact that we didn't have to use a construction icon, and uh, if I believe if you, I believe he got it, I think he spent like a couple hours on it, so, so uh, real big shout outs to Dark. I believe if you right click it, it'll say um, invention and whatnot, and it should, if you hover over it, it should level up. So that's going to be awesome. That was the main thing I needed from him. You can also see what I'm looking at here with these advertisements pro. Uh, that was the main thing I needed from him, so we can start with invention. So people have been wondering uh, since day one, how is it going to work? Um, I'm still workshopping all the ideas. I haven't perfected anything. I have the main idea of what I want, and I'll sort of show you that now. So I have to, if I have to pause a lot. I'm sick right now. I don't know if you can even be able to tell, but uh, yeah, I apologize. So how it works is uh, to start off, you'll get this device right here, old axe device. And uh, you'll use this on any item you wanted to identify for components. So I probably should have coded that so you could see, see that. I've coded everything else except that. So let's just say, for example, you would use this on this and you would get um, a component. Um, I don't have the full list of all the components that are going to be done. Obviously, this is still being workshopped, but I know of a couple and I'll, you know, I'll show you those now. So we have lucky components. These are found in most clue items. Uh, so if you're sort of one of those people that hoards clue items, you might be uh, pretty well off in terms of lucky components. Um, I haven't determined a, a value yet. Like I don't know exactly how many components I want for you know any specific item. So this number right here is definitely going to change. Don't use this as like a a base or anything. And I, I haven't given anything values. Um, just so you know, it won't work on every item. You're not gonna be able to just just. just Sorry about that. So you won't use this on every single item in the game. It'll be manually made. I'm sort of that's kind of one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm still working on trying to find a, a good way to do that because uh, the current idea would just be use item on another item and that could be uh, that could be messy. So I'm, I'm, I'm still workshopping that and I'll still probably have to talk to Dark and see if he has any ideas. But uh, for the most part, it will work on most items, more, more of the big items. So if you have littler items, I wouldn't uh, stockpile those because I know people try to. Uh, so, you'll purchase these schematics from Oldak. Oldak is the main NPC. I haven't finished his dialogue, so I, I won't show that off or anything, but uh, you'll purchase these schematics, and every single item that you make has a schematic. You don't need it for components. To, for components, all you need is this. This, use it on whatever item, and you'll get the component, and then to do anything, you'll need a schematic. So this is the Ring of Fortune schematic. Ring of Fortune is a improved Ring of Wealth, obviously. It's the next step from the Ring of Wealth Eye. It does actually have melee stats. I'll show you those once I, I make it, and it, it obviously is better than the Ring of Wealth Eye, and uh, less than the Luck of the Pugs. Luck of the Pugs is the best luck in boosting ring, and this will also be through invention. I'm just not going to show you how yet. So... What you need is the schematic, and if you examine it, I um, it'll uh, tell you what the items required. It says X because I don't have the exact amount required for the testing. I just made it 50, but it'll be a different number. So you need the schematic, the amount of components, and then whatever item you need. Sometimes it could be more than one. Um, so for this instance, you just use the 50 components on the Onyx ring, and you get yourself a ring of fortune. You don't lose the schematic. You keep this, but they are quite expensive as you can uh, imagine so look at the pugs or not look at the pugs ring of fortune let me uh, take all this stuff off and show you and so it has plus four and all so it has pretty decent stats so you can you can use it pretty well and then in terms of luck boosting I I can't remember the exact specifics on it but I, I know for a fact it's better than ring of wealth I I think it might be like a ring of wealth I like I think it might be double that I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but uh, yeah, so that's how invention will work, and there will be a ton of different items. Um, some of the main items that I have uh, in in mind would be the the. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's the luck of the pugs. There's the ring of fortune. There's going to be uh, insta kill darts. I'm still gotta workshop those because those could be considered too overpowered if you use them on monsters like, for example, the raid boss. So it might be that they only work in certain places. Uh, there's going to be a insta herb cleaner where you would use. Um, You'd have like your inventory would look something like uh, would like some looks like something like this. This would be the herb cleaner, and you'd have a bunch of grimy herbs. You'd use it on one, and then it would clean all of them. Uh, just sort of a ton of things like that. And uh, obviously, the big ones would be the augmented weapons, which would probably be best in slot at the time. So those will be pretty interesting. You'll be able to upgrade. Like I, I don't really know exactly. I don't have a full list of all items I'm gonna have that are upgradable, but. 
Um, it should be interesting. And, and obviously, as we're getting closer to the update, this will probably be a big update, so um, this will probably take more time. So definitely don't have any time frame for you. And so after Invention is done uh, and it's cooled down, the next update will be the Asilic uh, Stones, Dark Stones. I haven't really finished the full idea, it, so I'm just sort of talking about the idea rather than the full concept. And uh, that will be uh, these little things right here. So you know what these are if you play Dark Asylum. People have always wanted the Elite stuff to be back in game. And I've sort of come up with some ideas on how to get it back in game and how to make it sort of that same grind that it was on Dark Asylum. Because for whatever reason, people really enjoyed that more so than other grinds such as Max Cape or Completionist Cape or whatever. Uh, so with these stones right here, it's pretty simple. Just an onyx infused with ancient shards. Won't be that many ancient shards. People have always also been wondering uh, if there's any other uses for ancient shards, this will give them one. I think it all makes sense, too. It all sort of fits together. Uh, there will be one main boss, um, and it'll drop Dragon Sword and some other things, of course. And you will be able to use three of the stones on the Dragon Sword to get the Juggernaut. And Juggernaut will be the best in slot melee weapon. It'll be the new Kraken Tentacle. And um, I'm not 100% sure how this will compare when the uh, invention augmented weapons come out, but obviously I'll, the goal will be that this will be the new best in slot. And then uh, for melee gloves, the acidic gloves will be the best as well, and I believe those will just be two and then probably another item. So this update, um, I'll probably talk about it more later on, obviously, and it um, should be pretty interesting. It should be uh, the best in slot. These two right here are, are the most important ones. I don't know if I'm going to add any more. It all just depends on what ideas I can come up with, and I've found a couple monsters. Um, people have seen in my notepad. I, just, I don't have I don't have the to do list up still. Um, that I had some things jotted down, and, and there's some interesting monsters that I found that uh, that are going to be pretty. They're going to be perfect for this. So I'll talk about those more later when we're closer to those updates. The main ones I wanted to show off would obviously be the Inferno and then Invention, because Invention is obviously gonna, going to be huge. And so the last thing I want to talk about is new forms. Let me uh, show you those. Uh, still working on a new theme. Uh, this is just the default one for now. Uh, they're a lot better. A lot more. Um, there's a lot more. Uh, uh, there's a lot more opportunities to do shenanigans. There's you know there's a lot. There's a lot more you can do with with these forms. And people have always been asking about new forms. So uh, here they are. I'm gonna link to those in the description below. And uh, we're gonna officially start moving over all of the you know posts and whatnot. The important posts and the uh, forum sections. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I should have another video out tomorrow. I apologize for not getting one out yesterday. But uh, I just kind of had a lot of things to do. So, apologies. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you soon.